Hi everyone, welcome back to Spill Your Beans. We are here with Chef Vikram Vidge. Doctor. Doctor Vikram Chef. Vidge, yes. <laughs> so now we're about to spill the beans. Jazz, let's do this. Yeah, let's get started. This is the fun stuff. I really yeah. look forward to doing this every single time. Uh, before we get started with the serious fun questions, I did have to, I wanted to ask you, um, you know, we are at My Shanti right now, but you do have two other restaurants. You have a Real, Real Late Express and you have a Vidge's at Home line. Tell me a bit more about that. So Vidge's originally started as just one 16 seat restaurant. Yeah. Where I was the cook, I cooked everything yeah. and put it on the past. And then I needed to expand because, you know, Indian food is so vast yeah. and unique that it is not one style of cooking. Yeah. And I definitely did not want to do butter chicken yeah. or chicken tikka yes. masala. <laughs> so what I wanted to create was not, not just Indian food, but who I am as a human being. Yeah. I wanted to be eaten and enjoyed in literal sense. Literally. <laughs> um, okay, more about the restaurant, please. Yeah, yeah this, this can this. But you know what? Food, alcohol, and sex goes together. Yeah. It's part of it. It has to go together. Uh, so the restaurants do well in yeah. a certain way. Okay. But the idea was not to just create. I didn't want to be another cactus club that's just doing one and the same and the same kind of style. I wanted to be different. The way we are as human beings, we are always different. When you have children, you don't have the same child over and over again. You want to create something different and unique. Hence, the idea of creating newer concepts. And it gives me some fodder to create something. Creativity is extremely important. If you have a musician that plays the same song over and over again, yeah. he or she will be so bored by the time they're finished. You need to create something new. And always push your limits and always try something new. I agree, especially when you go to a concert and uh musicians on stage and they always like play that song and the musicians always like no I'm yeah. not playing that song yeah. because they are they learn something new learn something yeah. new to the world as well Definitely. but why would you why would we not create something new all the time exactly. I mean you don't wear the same clothes all the time you change your stuff yeah. then why would you not want to create something new with the menu I think people that are you interviewing us now uh, <laughs> I think it's people get comfortable no, with, their, like with <laughs> what they are and it's tough trying something new because if somebody likes something okay they like it I'm going to do it I try yeah. something new, I might get judged differently. So maybe that's why they don't try. I think I think the only thing you should keep doing in life is sleeping with the same person. Other than that, you should always change <laughs> things in life. Even that's though I think monogamy is bullshit anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to put it. And you know, that's what makes him stand out, and that's what makes all your restaurants very different, very unique. You know what? Let's get to the fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. Jazz, I know you have some really awesome questions. Let's I do this. Well, you know what? With all the work and stuff, I yeah. just wanted to know: Do you sleep? Yeah, you know, I do. I, I enjoy walks okay. and I love sleeping. Okay. I will, in 20 years, every day, I have a nap in the afternoon. Really? Every day. So I work a lot, Yeah. but man, do I, I have a nap every day. How and do you, you manage know, time to find Because I, I actually, I wake up early in the morning, I do all my things, and yeah. then I'll make sure between 2 and 3.30, yeah. Ish, I will have a nap for half an hour. I'll, yeah. I'll go, relax, and I'm one of those typical Indian guys. I'll remove my clothes, I'll put them next to my bed, I'll go to the bed, I'll put my head down, I'll sleep for 20 sleep. minutes, and I'll come out and I'll be like, oh, as if I'm just fresh as a daisy, and I'm able to just bounce back like that. Some people are not able to, but I'm totally relaxed, and I love it. And how do you balance everything? You know, being balance, an entrepreneur, a chef, a doctor? Balance is sometimes tough, and i tell yeah. you one thing. Uh, it does take a toll on your personal life at yeah. times. That's why when I said earlier, drishti or focus has to be what you want to do. So focus. let's say you, you say, I want to do this. You must remain focused at what you do. Because if you veer off and say, ah, I don't like this, or I don't like that, or maybe I can do this better, chances are you'll never be successful. So being focused is the key. To so sure. drishti, say you've gotten fogged up and you can't see clearly, how do you get back to that focus? And it is tough, and that's a great question. You, you take a step back, and then you look back and say, well, what is it that I want to do? So for example, in December, I decided that I'm this year not going to do any television. I wasn't going to do any Top Chef, any Dragons, yeah. any of those shows. I took a step back. And the reason why I took a step back is because I said, I need to focus on what my first love is, which is my restaurants. Yes. I am going to stay here with them. So that's why I'm spending more time here and however good it is and fun it is to do television, sometimes you need to take a step back. 
And my analogy to this would be, it's like going on a date with an extremely handsome person. It, if the chemistry is not there, yeah. who cares? If you don't feel the energy between that person, who cares? That is what I did. I, you, you need to, so when you get foggy, mm -hmm. you take a step back and say, well, what is it that I want to do? How far do I want to go with it? And then once you have found that clarity, then you go for it. The focus is then back. you go for the kill. It's all about the back. focus, the motivation, yeah. about what you want to do in life. But speaking about that, I knew that growing up, that wasn't being a chef wasn't your first choice. Oh, <laughs> going there, are you? Yes, I am going to go there because I'm very interested to know what did you actually want to be? Please we tell don't. our audience. I, I, do, I, I, do. I actually wanted to be a Bollywood actor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I actually wanted to be a stage actor. Yeah. I wanted to perform at 5.30, the curtains were drawn, and I wanted to perform at that time. Yeah. But my father said, no son of mine yeah. is going to become uh, an actor. So I said, what's the next thing I can do? I said, well, let's become a chef because you can flow your creativity yeah. on the plate and be who you did are. Did you know becoming a chef would be your second choice? How well, did you decide chef? I did because my grandfather in Amritsar yeah. every night would drink a bottle of scotch okay. and uh, smoke two packets of cigarettes okay. and in Punjabi he would tell me to come over here yeah. and say come and sit over here and he would say to me when you grow up I want you to open up a restaurant one day so that I can drink for free because I'll be the bartender <laughs> in your restaurant. Yeah. And the, hence the name Ridges. It is actually nothing to do with Vikram Ridge. It has to do with Roshan Lal Ridge, okay. who was my grandfather. I wanted to honor him. And I think today also, he's sitting up there, looking down and yeah. saying, my grandson. That's beautiful. Yes. And that's where it all comes from. That, eh? Yeah, Very you know, helpful. I get so nostalgic about it because it's really such a great that. feeling of uh, the factor of the fact, the the fact that he today is still an important part of my yes. life is is so important. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back to the acting. So if you became an actor, would you be a villain or a good guy? No, yeah. I, I. That's a good question. <laughs> That's a great question. I actually would want to be as versatile okay. as Nasiruddin Shah. Okay. You know, if you see him, he plays. He's played an actor. He's played a lover. He's played every role. That's what I want to do. I would act because I want to act and showcase the different elements of it. It's not just because I want to be Shah Rukh Khan or anything else. I would want to be the Amitabh Bachchan. I would want to be the Nasiruddin Shah of, of a very versatile acting career. Okay. Well, can you please look at the camera really closely? Gentlemen, if you could get a catch of his eyes here. Um, oh. If any producers or agents are watching right now, are those real? Those eyes? Yeah. Dude. There's nothing either low fat about this guy <laughs> or fake about this guy. This is he purely is true. It's all about being this, real. This is yeah. real, you guys. This is real. There's nothing Plus, about it. Okay, so now we're going to the kitchen. I've been looking forward to this for the whole time. 